Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SA Accounting Academy. Uh, here's a short clip on one of our previous webinars. I hope that you really do enjoy it. Right. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. It is a cold and wet and misty morning here in the Midlands. Um, so it's really great to be inside and snug and warm and ready to, to uh, spend the next four hours with you. <laughs> so um, if nobody has met me before, um, my name is Bronwyn, Bronwyn McCallum. You might know me as Bronwyn Camp. Um, and I'm really thrilled to be able to present the auditing update for SAAA this year. Auditing is absolutely my thing. Uh, something that I only learned recently to admit in public but i really enjoy it and i'm really looking forward to giving you a whole lot of value in these four hours um just a little bit of admin it is a long it is a long session and um so i will try and aim to give us a few comfort breaks along the way um i will generally tend to do that after i finish the section <laughs> that um that i can do that with so uh, just bear with me i will i will be aware of that also it's a solo flight for me today i'm used to presenting with my colleague karen maitland and um I'm on flying solo today, which means that um, I will be focusing on the presentation, but please do feel free, welcome to put comments in um, to the chat if you want to ask any questions. If um, once I finish the section, I'm going to check in with the chat to see if there are any questions that I can respond to. If there are um, questions that I'd like to get back to you on, we are making a note of what the questions are. And if it's a little bit more detailed, or if it's slightly off focus or out of the scope for what we're chatting about today, then we'll make a note of it and I will get back to you. And if it's a, if it's a quick and easy answer and it's not going to um, derail too much of the rest of the presentation, I will try my best to answer the question um, in the session with you. And um, yeah, we, we've, got, uh, we've got a nice packed presentation today. And so I'm sure that you are here because it's an annual update and you will have seen the objectives for today's session. It might look like we're not covering all that much. There are only a few standards and a few updates. However, because they are so new and because the, um, they are really essentially changing the environment that we operate in as auditors, at the moment, um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on them. So I'm, I'm really hoping what you get out of it is a, a, an understanding that is, it's obviously not going to be 100% detailed, but it should be enough to understand how is this going to impact me? How is this impacting my practice? Um, how does it impact the environment that the firm works in? And, and what am I supposed to do to make this happen? Um, because we're at that point, especially with the ISQMs, where we need to change a whole lot. Um, and so I really hope that you'll feel well equipped to be able to implement those changes or to at least know what you're in for, um, understand how to, how to plan and how to manage the risk around that and understand where to go to for details that you need to, to, to make it work if that's the case. Um, so I think we'll probably end up spending about half the session on the ISQM standards. And after that, we will we'll, we'll look at the others. So the, the risk assessment, um, I've also decided that it's a really good idea to, to unpack again ISO 540, so auditing of estimates, not because it's brand, brand new, but because it's 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 really impactful right now as far as the effect of this is concerned. And also, as you'll see later, um, there's just such a there's a there's a there's a lot of weakness in the implementation of that standard at the moment, which is causing us a lot of quality issues in the profession globally, but especially here in South Africa. So it's a good idea just to touch base on that again. Um, we'll do that, and then we'll just run through some other updates about our profession, environmental scanning, where are we going, what's coming, uh, what do we need to be aware of, how does it impact us. So that's what we're going to do. Um, if you don't know me, I'll just introduce myself, but um, and I told you auditing is my thing. But I've been in the profession since, yeah, well, <laughs> 97, I think it is. And so post-qual, I took the long, run, long route to qualification, but I've been post-qualified for about 16, 17 years now. And in that time post-qualification, I have uh, done all things audit, uh, been in small practice, medium practice, large firm, as a partner myself, as a senior manager at the Auditor General's office, as a psycho trading officer. I've worked for psycho, I've worked for Uber. And at the moment, uh, my work is largely in audit quality and audit technical. Um, and over and above that, I do a lot of lecturing. So I have lectured undergrad, postgrad in auditing and IFRS, and I really love the CPD work that I do. 
and I do it here and I do it in the UK for the European and, and American markets as well. So super thrilled to be able to do it for our country. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's me. All right. So I'm not going to, the course outline is the objectives as you would have seen the session objectives in the blurb for this session. So let's go to the table of contents really, really quick. We're sort of onboarding into context about the IAASB right now and what they're doing and how it affects us. You'll see later when we do a bit of an environmental scan, I'm going to mention some of the stuff that's coming from URBA and from CFAS in the next little while. But most of that is driven by what happens with the IAASB anyway. So let's just onboard with that. And then we're going to spend time on the quality management standards, um, especially because while wow, that is really where our focus needs to be as a profession in the next little while. Um, then we'll touch on 315 revised. OK, so that's actually 315 was revised. <laughs> this is revised 2019. Uh, touch on, on ISO 540. We are then going to unpack um, elements of Uber's latest uh, public inspections report. Um, and you'll see a very clear link between what we're discussing in these three uh, sections of standards and what is coming through in urban inspections, uh, just so that you understand how, to, how that impacts you. Um, I'm hoping as we go through it, you'll be thinking, gosh, okay, I need to do something like that, or that makes sense, or I'm feeling this, or I'm about to accept a client um, that this is going to impact. Uh, so I'm really hoping that what you'll see is the practical value of all of these things put together in this particular way. Um, and then we will do some environmental scanning. So I have said the new pronouncements from the IASBA, uh, from the, F the ethics board. Um, the, I've actually expanded that a little bit uh, to include the IASB and to include Uber as well, so that we know what's coming. And uh, yeah, then we'll recap. So we're here until lunchtime, and, and this is what we're going to be getting through today. All right, and also just good morning to everybody who say good morning in the comments. It's really nice to see people commenting. Um, it's uh, I've spent many years presenting online, but it is always nice to know that there are other people at the other end. All right, so take a deep breath. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna spend um, as I said, potentially about half the the session today on the quality management standards. All right. So you may or may not have read them yet. You may or may not have attended other training on them. The IWSB themselves has uh, rolled out some really, really good um, uh, video sort of training webinar sessions on the quality management standards. And just so that you know, I'm hoping you get all the value out of this. But if you feel like there are more resources that you need, um, there really are good sessions that the IWSB did. And they are available on their YouTube channel, just by the way, if you missed the recordings at the time. But Let's talk about the quality management standards now. And I am going to approach it as if you kind of know it's there. Um, and it's now time to really get to grips with it as an update to say, what is it? How does it work? And how is it going to impact my practice or the firm that I'm in or thinking about starting my own practice? Wherever you are in that, this really does impact us, right? So the quality management standards, we really became most of us who are not um, actively involved in researching what the work plans are for the IWSB. Um, and most of us, you see these notices come through from Uber every now and then to say there's an exposure draft. Do you want to comment? Comments are due by X, Y, and Z. Some people are very technically minded and dive straight into that stuff. And the rest of us in practice have got so much on our plates that we like, I'll deal with it when it becomes an issue. So you probably came, became aware of it at the end of, of, of last year. Uh, when the pronouncements were actually published by the, AWS, the IWSB. Um, but actually, the project to start this revision of quality management standards uh, goes back as far as, as, as seven years ago. So it goes back as far as June 2014, when uh, the uh, IFAC and the IWSB were getting information and feedback from the global profession, generally from FER and from various projects run by IFAC, uh, some of which came directly from a, a, a set of, um, of reports that, that IFAC was doing on the implementation of the ISIS and is it working, is it not working, where are the weaknesses, etc. <clears throat> so it started off in June 2014 already, and for two years uh, uh, they spent gathering information about the project and the direction it needs to take, etc., etc. And the pro project proposal was published in December 2016. So that's just the proposal for the project in at the IWSB. And so it took four years to get from that point through all the research, through all the consultations. And it is just um, 
look, I think it's a fantastic standard. I think it's, it's about time that we had it. Uh, the, uh, the ISQC one, the extant ISQC one is quite old now um, and there have been so many changes in the profession uh, since that came about so I think it's it's well deserved um, but it is going to change the way we do things and uh, rightfully so but it means it's going to take resource time effort money etc I hope that you enjoyed that video for more of our webinar videos go to www.accountingacademy.co.za thank you and have a lovely day